So. <coughs> All right. We are live. Apparently, a title did not move over. So let's redo it. All right, let's do, let's fix this. All right, let me fix this first. Let me fix this title because apparently doing it on here didn't work. So, not really a big show. It's an ad nor it's a it's a normal show. What are we gonna talk about tonight? I got you. Title says it all. Two Klingons walk into a bar. Finish the joke. So I'm gonna let you finish the joke for me tonight, chat. I'm gonna start you off with two Klingons walk in a bar. Somebody tell me what the rest of the joke. That's what chat's there for. Chat's there for you guys to pop in. I got you started on the joke. You tell me the rest of the joke. And let's see if it's let's see how funny let's see if you can bring it home. So there you go. Uh, as far as me, I am going to first things first. Do first things first. I got grab my uh, got to grab the, uh, the Phoenix box from Grim. Grab the free Phoenix box here from Grim. All right, now that we've done that, now that we've done all that, we can uh, go ahead and get lined up for the event for today. Get my daily in. I'm gonna do some, I need some more interaction from you, chat. Y'all were kinda, just kinda hanging out. Which is fine. I don't mind you hanging out. I enjoy you guys hanging out. Lurking. In, even when you're just lurking. I got no qualms with that. I want to get some interaction out of you guys. I love you. So, henceforth, I put the title in the title today. Two Klingons walk into a bar. Finish the joke. That's for you guys to do. That's your task tonight. Your tasks you choose to accept the challenge is to finish the joke. Make it funny. Make it funny. Oh, Put it in chat. Type your joke in chat and let us hear it. Yo, it's a cat man. He's running across. How'd he get up there? How did he get up there? Or a spot where he can get up there. Interesting, Stampy. I had to figure that out later. Anyway. <clears throat> uh. mm. Oh, man. Throat's a little dry today. Captain, it is with and I figure out what we're going to talk about here, other than the joke. Y'all going fi can finish the joke, and tell it to me in chat, and uh, I'm gonna do the daily. After we do the daily, 
we're gonna uh, <coughs> get into it. Oh, my controller is nasty looking. I need to clean it. It's all crusty. The synth are turning the defense net against targets on Mars. Well, we can't have that now, can we? Evacuate the engineers at the outer perimeter first. Wrong way. This here cruiser, or this here transport, because this transport is closest. No, the frigate's closest. Cruiser, excuse me. Here. Alright, let's pop two on this cruiser. <coughs> Doggies roll in, roll hide. <laughs> uh, we'll go ahead and catch this one while we're here. Then I'll stick him on that transport and let him roll. Because there's. I thought there was two right here together. Maybe not. There's one right here. That one's over there. He'll be inside the next circle, I do believe. If not, I'll catch him in a minute. two here. I'll stick one on there. Then put the other one on there and I'll pick up a third. Pick this guy up. Then quickly, no, well, not quickly, but as quick as I can anyway. Beam him over. Then mosey on over to the next set. Try and get some. There we go. I saw a transport here somewhere. That was close by. There it is. I yeah, I saw one somewhere. Shoot. Oh, he's too far away. That'd be the reason why I couldn't get him. He's too far away. The operational area is about to get smaller. Uh oh, well, that's not good. Picket ships, fall back to the next defensive perimeter. Okay, I'm trying. I get try and get one more transport in here. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. All right, so that's all I can get from here, unfortunately. All right, I roll right here. Where 
Where is it? Try to get up a little closer here. There we go. I got too far down. Alright, we'll pick this one up. There's a frigate. The outer perimeter yeah. is lost. Fall back and rescue as many people as you can. Yeah, I see that. Go ahead and put him on the frigate. There we go. He'll mosey on through. Turn, turn, turn. Where was he? He's over here. There we go. Get right here and we'll send this one over. We'll do the Red Rover, Red Rover. Send this dude over. Mosey on over here. <laughs> These engineers keep popping up in weird spots, man. So he can run, uh, run protection. There we go. Pick up speed a little bit. Let's get over here to this one. Is there another one right here at me? One right there. Go get this one. There we go. Oh, I got too, almost got too far out of, oh, I didn't get out of range. Oh, he blew up. Oh, don't transport into a... Oh, well, I just killed that guy. I just killed that dude. I transported him over to the... He passed, put him over to that transport, and the transport blew up. So I just killed that guy for nothing. That stinks. More satellites are coming under safe control. Operational area is approaching 50%. Satellites will pulverize us if we stay here. Fall back. Fall back. Yep, fall back. Alright, I gotta find a ship somewhere. There's gotta be a ship somewhere over here. There's some. Put 
this battle cruiser in there. <clears throat> get right here in these two rings. So I can get them both. Send one to the battleship. I think I sent one. I'll go ahead and send the second one. There we go. So we clear it out. Battle cruisers going. I do think that's about all of them. I don't think there's anything left. Losing my way over here. Start playing mop up. Start doing mop ups anyway. Let's do that. Let's let's uh <clears throat> get these people on transports and get them out of here. Dude, I hate to tell you this. There's no way to not let the synth through. There's too blessed many of them. There's just way too many of them. sit here and shoot at them all day long. There's just way too many of them. Like a hornet's nest. Which I usually use the analogy of fire ant heal. Fire ants, of course, are just annoying little critters. Alpha vicious little rascals too. Very vicious little stuff. Very, very vicious little things. Especially when you step on their mound. Well, they get real. They get kind of pissy when you do that. <clears throat> and in turn, they bite. They bite. They bite a lot. They just don't like you at that point. Ah, and now. Transport inbound to Beacon Gamma. They're counting on you. Oogie doogie. Well, these transports ain't moving. They just kind of sitting here meandering around. They gonna move. They need to move. So they're just sitting there. Are en route to beacons Alpha and Beta. Mm, up too high. Oh, I need to lower myself down. Here we go. Down. 
All oh, those go to the same one. That kind of stinks. I'm wasted. Wasted said torpedoes, even though it blew them up. Ah! Mm. Ah! <clears throat> Oh, no, you don't. Come back here. Come back here, you little turd. There we go. Yeah, uh-huh. That's what you get. Shoot me from behind, I'll blow you up. Transport's away. Okay. Yeah, everybody take off. What he means is haul ass. <clears throat> That's what he means. He means haul ass hard. Go back to hell. I don't even know where I'm at. Oh, Drosna Station, I think is where I'm at. Yeah, Drosna Station. <clears throat> ba 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 ba. Da 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 da. Crimson Shadow Armada. It's Nurse Nalf. Nilo. What is this one doing? It's the Dovakin. It's the Dovakin. Eh. <laughs> Obviously a Skyrim player. Sizzling Sleuth. Thylic. Illumination! All I can think of when I see Illumination is, uh, what is it? The, um, the, uh, shit, what is it? Yo, what's up, Marksman? Um, uh, the minions, the little minions thing when they first come on and the little minion is going, Illumination! That's all I can think about every time I, when I see that one. Bar patrons, bar patrons. He's immune. Delta operative. I guess uh, you don't really know. Why not, dude? It's Saturday, man. It's Saturday. They cheated death. What the hell is that? What the hell is that? Is that balloons? What? What the hell? Get these balloons out of here. Somebody throwing balloons everywhere. There we go. Trippy. Oh, that went way up. That would be a glowing Klingon balloon. That's annoying. 
Those things are annoying. They're just kind of floating around. Who put the balloons out? It's moist. Princess Lilana. I bet she did it. Because she... Because, you know, she's moist. That was wrong. I'm glad there's no little kids listening to this mess. Because, you know... There's no telling... There's so many wrong things going on in this in this room. Which I mean it is a bar. I guess it's, it should be doing that, right? Whoa, that went flying. <laughs> It's like it's nose diving. It got stuck. Oh, I ain't what I want to do. I want to hit it with the thing. Who says there aren't kids watching this called the future? Yeah, it's true. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh, there it comes. I'll see if I can hit it. I can bump into it, but I can't hit it. I want to hit it and send it flying. Hey, there's the Klingon representative. She's just kind of chilling. It's funny. She don't look Klingon. She looks Orion to me. <laughs> All right, so oh Lord, do they ever that they do? It's hollow leader. It's not the real one. It's the hollow one. Why is he so nervous? He's a nervous Ferengi. Why is he so nervous? Is he afraid? I mean, he is standing next to, the, to this dude, and he looks kind of rough. So, yeah, I'd be kind of worried, too. There's the dude from the Enterprise. Kind of looks like him, anyway. He shouldn't be here. But he's a Starfleet officer. He, he's supposed to be an upstanding citizen. He's in this little, cru he's in this little crusty bar. Give me some money, bank. This bank sucks. It don't give me no money. All right, let's go do a. Uh, let's return to the ship. Actually, I didn't have to return to the ship. I could have just stayed where I was and done it right where I was at. I was gonna hit a TFO. I, I didn't need to return to the ship for that. Cause it'll send me back to it whenever. Welcome to Josanna. You're cleared for docking. We have everything you need for shore leave. And a few things that you didn't even know you wanted. Shopping, drinking, dining, entertainment. You'll find it all here. And don't forget the seven. <laughs> if you break it, I'll mission. charge you for it. If you break it, yep, I'll that makes charge you for perfect it. sense there, Ferengi. Alright, I'm gonna just do that. I'm gonna just go back in. That way I don't that way when I have to do the um Adventurous day you had yesterday. What happened, man? Couldn't have been that bad, right? If it was adventure, which, which, which bleh, I can't talk. Which, if it was adventurous, it must not have been a good thing then. <laughs> Oh, it's going to be one of those stories. Okay. Oh, 
it couldn't have been that bad, right? Or am I setting myself up for uh, a really good story? There's that damn balloon again. short end. Looking for a place to spend gold press platinum? Not really. GPO conversion unit. What can I buy with gold press platinum? Don't look like much. Where's that damn balloon again? <clears throat> you know, I don't think I've ever played Dabo. I've never did a Dabo thing. I don't even understand the concept of it. Looks like a roulette wheel. <clears throat> With Hollow Lita, who has sleeves. What in the world? It's trippy. <clears throat> Ugh. <sighs> All right, it'll transport me out of here at some point. Yep, there it goes. Not this one. Yo, what's up, you see? Miriam Elise Picard in the Dalton. She's a Riker in the Enigma. And this Revan in the Agamemnon. I've seen another Agamemnon somewhere. <clears throat> Same thing with the Nova. I've seen a Nova somewhere too. Alright. Let's go do the thing. <clears throat> Let's go blow up some stuff. Why didn't it? There it goes. Like that gun. I remember hitting that one. It could be up higher. Oh, no, I didn't. It hit it. Ooh, him exploded. Him exploded. There we go. I guess I gotta get on the other side and shoot what's coming this way, or keep them from shooting our keep them from shooting ours. Yeah, that's what it is. Something like that. <clears throat> da 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 da.
and blowed up. He just kind of stuck there. Allied transport inbound. Where? <clears throat> oh, it must be on the other side. Right? I don't like these cruisers. What in the world? That's weird. Where? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, there it is. Oh, I need speed. I need speed. I need more speed. I need a lot more speed. Come on. Give me speed, man. Give me the speed. Oh, naturally, after I start hitting him, that's when he does that stupid shield thing. <clears throat> Marksman, you're going to tell me this story, man. What's going on? <clears throat> Come up from behind. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Where'd it? There we go. Oh, I can't get to him fast enough. There's a turret there. Why ain't that turret blowing? Why ain't that turret shooting him? What? Why ain't I shooting him? There we go. Daggone thing was in a bad spot. I shot that thing out of the sky. I had it. There we go. I hit one kill. I hit one blowed up. Another one pops out of nowhere. Where? Where? Shoot him, shoot him. Yeah. Huh. I've seen that happen. It's not a good it's not a good thing to watch. Huh. <clears throat> I don't want that. I want to shoot the transport right there. There we go. Trying to hit the transport, not the cruiser. Holy crap, there's two of them behind me. Even see him. I don't want the frigate. These two guys are sitting there. What are they doing? Just kind of meandering around. Come on, shoot this guy. Shoot this guy. Shoot this guy right here. Cruiser's just kind of hanging out. He's stuck. He cannot move. 
It says he's inbound. I don't see him though. There he is. There's just the one? Yeah, it's just the one. What the hell? Shoot the transport. Shoot the transport. There you go. Blow up the transport. You can't just shoot it, man. I gotta blow it up. Come on. See that battleship stuck in there. He got himself trapped. See if we can unstick him by blowing him up. <laughs> sounds like some. Sounds like the ones around my around here in my area. <clears throat> they can't find you, even if they can't find you. And then when they do find you, they're going to charge you an arm and a leg to come and get you. <clears throat> I can't catch him. There he goes. I, can, I hear you on that one. I 100% agree with you on that one. Oh shit, where is he? Really, it won't let me shoot him because of where he's sitting at. <clears throat> That cannon ain't worth shit. Oh, I'm gonna get this one this time. Oh, no, you don't. What the hell? Really, it wouldn't let it take the shots because it was halfway in the damn little little spot there. Yeah, me too. That's where I'm at. I'm this one, and I think uh, da, 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 da. if not this one, it'll be tomorrow. If not. No, I know it won't be this one. It'll probably be tomorrow's. On this account, anyway. Uh. You go boom. Where's the big where's the big boy at? Where is he? Where's the big one at? It says oh Scott, I gotta wait for it. Okay. Where is that big mammer jammer? Ah, there it is. Go, go, 
go. Well, damn, he didn't last too long, did he? Absolutely. That's what I'm waiting on. Get the... Whoa! Dude assimilated that big ship. And then it exploded. <laughs> it exploded. Okay, so which it's just kind of hanging there. <laughs> Stop the Omega shuttles. I think that's on the other side. It's over here on this side, I do believe. All right, should be over here. Already on the other side. There they come. Oh, crap. gone. They all went boom. We gotta hang out for another 30 seconds. Waiting on this thing. We done blasted all the shuttles. Oh no, there's one. He's trying to get away. They wait till I get past him before they go shooting out another one. Hey, I got. Oh, wait a minute, never mind. Never mind. Posted the title for a joke. Two Klingons walk into a bar. Y'all gotta finish the joke. And it's gotta be funny. If it ain't funny, then you're gonna be embarrassed. I'm trying to mix it up a little bit. Instead of doing my usual title of what I'm doing, I figured I'd do something just completely out of the woodwork. Oh, so, I pose a part of a part of, I posted the part of the joke into the title, into the title description. Y'all can talk amongst yourselves and finish the joke. And yes, it is a lame and cheesy joke, but, or it is a lame and cheesy start of a joke, let me rephrase that, that ain't what I want, that's what I want, let me clean this crap out, oh, there we go. two Phoenix boxes. I need to open them up <clears throat> and get two more uncommons because I guarantee I'm not going to get an epic out of it. Even though that would be nice. It would be nice to get an epic out of it. And I need to some fleet marks. Oh, let's get some fleet marks going. 
Let's see here. Let's see here. Um, shit, there was one here yesterday. It's gone now. Alright, so here. Holdings. No. No. There's gotta be one somewhere. <clears throat> No, 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 okay. Nope. Nope. Um, nope. And nope. Oh, come on. Somebody's got to have one somewhere, right? I always look up somewhere and find at least one. Apparently, I'm not going to find that one tonight, though. Oh, crap. Too far down. Alright, over the top. No, 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 no. Okay. <clears throat> Somewhere in here has got to be one. Here's one with EC. I guess I can do EC instead, but I'd love to do, rather rather get rid of fleet marks. Dilithium, dilithium, dilithium. Everything's deal, 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 deal. There's one. There we go. I put a big chunk out of that one. Is that the only one? I bet it is. Let's see. Uh, oh, there's another one. Okay, so there's at least have two sets of places where I can dump some fleet marks off when I get them. <clears throat> All right, duty officers, because I haven't done anything with them. Let's go ahead and get the next ones going. Let's see. Let's do this one. Is that the only one? Because I'm not really wanting those. This one here. That's it for that one. That one. That one. This one. This one. And that one. That one, that one. And that one. Let's see. Come on, come on, come on. We've got to be something here somewhere. No, 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 no. I know the medical ones are going to be easy, and I ain't worried about those right now. There we go. Trade. That one and that one. I should be getting close to 20. Uh, no. Okay, back to medical. I know these are going to have some... Some of them are going to be kind of fairly simple to get to. <coughs> Ooh, I got serious. I got some serious discussions we can discuss. Uh, let's talk about the the whole GameStop stock fiasco that's going on right now, where the little man has finally found a way to stick it to the Wall Street fat cats, and of course the Wall Street fat cats are losing their mind. It's a great thing to see. I really am glad to see it. But, uh, naturally, as always, when the Wall Street fat cats start to raise a stink and a hissy fit, what's the first thing they do? They go hollering for the government to bail them out to help them because if they can't, if they don't, they're not going to get their donations come the next election cycle. So what does our government do, of course? Step in to help the Wall Street fat cats. Why? Because they don't want to lose that money. They don't want to lose that money. I've been saying it. Somebody's hollering, is that me? I remember seeing it. I saw it. Whoa, what the hell? Dude, that's creepy. Mm -hmm. uh, so naturally, what do... do 
what do the politicians do? They run to help the Wall Street fat cats so they can keep getting that money. Just goes to show you, like I've said before, uh, our illustrious political politicians are only in it for power and money. Because instead of getting behind it and saying, hey, you know what? Uh, you've been sticking it to the little man for so many Listen years, up. all this the time. Has... It's about time that the little man stuck it back to you. <clears throat> but they can't do that. They can't just let it go. Oh, no. They can't let it go. And then the government sees that, hey, little man's making some money. We can't have that. We got to have them dependent on us. They gotta depend on us for money and food and housing and medical care and all this other good crap. Here they come. If they go making money on their own, they're not gonna need us. How are we gonna how are we gonna impose our will upon people who can be independent who have can find a way to be independent from the the, the illustrious government? Because you know as well as I do. And I heard that the SEC is already looking into the the whole thing that Reddit got involved with and found a way and started helping people and people started making money off of it. And so, <clears throat> naturally, they want that to stop. So, because, you know, you've got to depend on the government for everything. Because the government's so great at running things, right? What is it I've seen, heard the other day? Uh, the amount of money that the federal government is going to be spending <coughs> uh, in possible excess of $11 trillion. That's crazy. And that $11 trillion is going to be added on to the national debt. So, of course, we're going to be paying on it forever. Now, they say that uh, when Obama was in office, he, his spending wasn't like uh, what was it, six, $8 trillion, I think. When he was in office for his 12 years, Trump come close. He was at seven trillion dollars in four years. Uh, and his excuse was, and his thing was to revamp the military and all this other good stuff. Which you gotta admit, <clears throat> he uh, he did at least make the effort to try and make things better. He jumped worked on the VA and stuff like that. The VA was neglect had been neglected for a long time, and it shouldn't have been. I've seen firsthand uh, how guys were done at the VA. My grandfather went through it. Uh, having to get his stuff done through the VA and it was awful. And so when Trump vowed to revamp the VA hospital the VA situation uh, facilities and stuff like that, I was all for that. Because those guys deserve it. And, and they have been neglected far, far, far too long. So, we get back to the the whole uh, GameStop thing, the way it is now. Something that just started as a meme, right, is now turned into a movement. And I guess people were just fed up, you know? They were tired of getting, you know, they've seen these Wall Street hedge funds, these Wall Street fat cats take their money over and over for years and years and years with nothing, with no repercussions whatsoever. But yet, the first time, the first time the people find a way to stick it to the man, they're all about stopping. 
got to stop it, got to stop it. This is not right. It's illegal. Well, technically it's not illegal because if it is, your hedge fund guys would be uh, sitting behind bars for a long time. But, you know, can't do that. They don't want to put their, they don't want to put their backers in prison. How would they ever get money out of them? How would they ever extort contributions from them? squeeze put on them. How on earth would politicians survive? So they can't have that. No, no, no. This is Andor. Our shields are taking hits, and we can use it But I gotta admit, it's a wonderful sight to see. I hope it continues. Uh, in my opinion, government needs to just back out and stay out of it. It ain't got nothing to do with them. Instead of looking at people and saying, you know what, you can't do that. They need to back off and say, it's about time. But they're not going to. They're not going to do that. They're not going to back off. They're not going to back off. They're not going to let up. They're going to find a way to. They're going to find a way to hold people responsible. Realistically, I don't know how they can do that. How they're going to find a way to hold people responsible for doing what their cronies have been doing for years. So, which you know, that's pretty much the way it's been. That's pretty much the way it goes now. It's the rules for thee, but not for me. Era. This is our way of civil disobedience. That we can actually make a difference. Only other way to really and truly make a difference is in 22, two years, next election cycle, in the midterms. It's time for regular people step up and say, you know what? It's time for regular people to step up. Sign up and run for office. If you can afford it. Well, let me rephrase that. If you can afford to do the paperwork and run for office, give these people, give the people themselves, just every ordinary Tom, Dick, and Harry Give them a choice between somebody who's been in there for years and years and years and they ain't done a damn thing to help you out. They give you lies over and over and over. Tell you, oh, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. And nothing ever comes from it. Nothing. Take a stand. Go to your board of elections. Find out what you got to do to run for office for your state, for your county, uh, and so forth. Take a stand. Show them that you know what. What's the what's the stand on the movie? I'm mad as hell. I'm not gonna take it anymore. That's what we gotta do, man. That's what people should do. People should stand up for... The American people have more power and more rights than they give themselves. You know, there's a reason that it says that government is for the people, of the people, by the people, for the people. Because it is a government made up of the people. Voted on by the people to govern 
for the people. And it's time that every single person stand up, take a stand, and say, you know what? If I can, I will. And find a way to stick it to them. And I guarantee you, don't mind that one. If more people took a stand and said, you know what? I'm going to run against these people who've been in office for years and years and years, lying to me over and over and over again. Hadn't done nothing to make life better for me. I'm going to run against you. And I'm going to look at every single person that I walk past and I'm going to say, you know what? How you doing? My name is so-and-so. I'm running for whatever office you run to, run for. <clears throat> I'm here to make a difference. Right, but you know, you know the thing about politics, bribes, and idiots, and the whole bunch of other things, is that those politicians, bribes, idiots, and the whole bunch of other things can be pushed out of the way, and the, and every and a normal everyday person can put themselves in that position. That's the difference. It's when we, as a people, give up the actual power that we have to look at our politicians and say, you know what? I'm tired of your bullshit. I'm going to vote you out. And I'm going to look for somebody who can... Act, and I'm going to look for somebody that I can put in your spot who's actually going to make a damn for me and my family or my neighbor's family or his neighbor's family. <clears throat> but the problem is it's we as people have listened to have let the politicians control everything we have given that they are so drunk with power they have forgotten everything and so even though the whole GameStop thing is a meme it sets it makes a point and it shows the entire world well not, on, well, not only the entire world, but it definitely shows <clears throat> us, the people of this country. Our politicians don't give two squats about us. They worried about where they're going to come from next. Because these people in there doing this, these people in here doing the GameStop thing, and are making money to make themselves more independent, and not to look at, and not be like Oliver in Oliver Twist with his hand out saying, please sir, can I have another? Instead, we're looking at him and saying, we don't need you. I can do it myself. <clears throat> that's what we need to do, man. That's what, that's what everybody needs to do. Everybody needs to stand up and say, you know what? I'm tired of this mess. <laughs> The problem is, is that it don't make a difference every freaking time it rolls around. There's always two of them there. They're both going to tell you lies to get what they want. I want to see one actually tell me, tell me that he's going to do something and actually do it. Thank you for coming. Not only actually do it, but do something that's going to make a difference. Which is why I say, no matter where you are, go to your local board, of, go to your board of elections, a local state. Oh, I, that, I'm the exact same way, Marshman. I don't vote either because it's all it's all crap. I haven't voted in a long. I haven't voted ever. Everybody keeps telling, and I take the George Carlin approach to voting. And people say, well, if you don't vote, you don't have a right to complain. George Carlin's take on it was it? No, if you vote, you give up your right to complain because it was your vote put idiot in there in the first place. Which he didn't put that way. He's put it in a different way, but uh, you get what I'm, you get the gist of what I'm saying. 
but you know that's how it starts. It starts with the little man sticking it to the sticking it to the man for change. And eventually they'll figure it out. And there is there my wife my wife looks at me and she says that I'm a diehard Republican. That's a lie. Are there a lot of Republican things that I agree with? Absolutely. There's a lot of a lot of issues that they have that I agree with. There's some issues that Democrats have that I agree with. But I don't care for either one of them. Because they're all the same. And I uh I saw the what is it, uh I saw a clip from Joe Rogan's podcast with Tulsi Gabbard. Tulsi Gabbard, of course, is a former senator from Hawaii. She's also a, uh, if I'm not mistaken, she is a former issues of veteran, if I'm not mistaken, as well. Um, her, she's a Democrat, mind you. But a lot of the stuff she talked about, a lot of the stuff she talks about, she makes perfect sense. Now, politically, ideology, ideology-wise, you know, she's a Democrat, of course, and she has that Democrat ideology. But she also makes a lot of talks, a lot of common sense. So, uh, I don't find myself agreeing with Democrats a lot of times because Democrats want power. That's all they're focused on. And they want to keep that power and they want to keep, they want to keep you, the American people, thinking that you have none. They want to give you a handout. They want you to take that handout. They want you to keep taking that handout. Because as long as you're taking a handout, guess what? They got you. The first minute, though, you... And this goes along with the GameStop thing. The first minute that you even show some independence away from them, they lose their mind. They can't stand it. Because they lose their control over you. When they lose their control over you, that's when, that's when everything falls to shit. You know what I say? Good. Good. Don't give them that control. Take that control away from them. Take that control away from them. Prove to them that you don't need them. You can do it yourself. Be an independent person. Don't depend on them for, for nothing. If you can. Now, here's my thing. Uh, and I've said it before. There's times when uh, food stamps, welfare, Medicaid, stuff like that. There's times it has its purpose. It absolutely has has its purpose. However, I've seen people who need it, who truly, truly need it, and they can't get that help. They can't get it. Yet I've seen people over and over and over, time and time and time again, who don't need it, who don't deserve it, get it. Hand it to them. And they're more than willing to stand there like Oliver with your hand out saying, Please, sir, can I have another? What do you wish to And they get hooked in that trap. Oh, I... Hey. I've seen it firsthand. I've seen it firsthand. Of people who, who, who abuse it. Didn't deserve it. Didn't need it. And they abused it. 
And I've seen people who truly in their who truly, truly, truly did need it and can't get it. Have to sit there and fight tooth and nail to get it. And yet, there'll be people who walk there'll be some people walk in there and they'll be more willing to hand to them. Because they know once they get them hooked, they ain't going away. Attention, thing on leader. That's what they want. They want you. They want to hook you. Oh, them too. They get mistreated a lot. They get mistreated, ignored. They're they're just as forgotten as a lot of people. I've known people who who've had cancer. I mean bad cancer. To the point that they could couldn't do anything. They were so eat up with cancer. Couldn't work, couldn't do anything. Cause the cancer's got them too much. Couldn't get help. Tried their best. Fall to the nail with them to try and get it. Could not get it for nothing in the world. Right? Yeah, I've seen one. I seen one go in there. I seen one go. They needed it because they couldn't do this. They couldn't do that. They were hurt. That's what it was. Yeah. Right. Said it was hurt. Couldn't work. Couldn't do anything. And I've seen that exact same person said, ooh, I can't work because of this. But, but it's alright. Government got me covered. Walk into a garage. Walk into his garage. Close the doors. Pick up a truck. Pick up a car transmission. And move that sucker around like it weren't nothing. But He's hurt. He's hurt. He's hurt. He can't go. He can't get a job. The government wants, he wants the handout. See, that's the that's the big thing. How do you how do you look at people? How do you look at people who want that handout and say you don't need it? Why do you want to Why do you want to let Why do you want to let a government control you? Why? I don't get it. I don't understand it. This is the greatest country in the world. Every single person in this country has the same opportunities as the next person. And y'all can put, and people can pull that bullshit about, nah, they, that's not right. They don't have, not everybody, it's not equal. Not everybody has the same sort of opportunities. Wrong. Everybody has the same opportunities they want it. Everybody. Why do you think I'm doing this? Why do you think I'm streaming? I want better for myself. I want a better life. I want to keep doing my same day to day. I don't want to do my. I don't want to keep doing my same day job day to day. I don't want to. That's why I'm doing this. Try to make try to try to make something better, man. Oh, better. Not only do I want better, I want to give people a chance to do better as well. I call it close to Klingon's territory. You only live now to serve as witnesses of Klingon's supremacy. To be my herald. We do not desire to know you. But you will know our great houses standing as one right. under Baelish, reborn in me, the Kuma. I've seen him getting that. Seen I've seen him getting that food stamps, yet they drive a Mercedes. Mercedes Benz. You can't tell me. <laughs> can't tell me that that guy who's driving a Benz needs help from the government. Why? 
Why does he need help from the government? He driving the Benz. He don't need no help. Apparently he doing good enough on his own. But that's like I said, how you look at people who are so used to that, please sir, can I have another? And look at them and say, why do you want to do that? Why do you want to be like that? You don't need to be like that. You need to bust out and do your own thing. Prove to you that you can do it. Don't stand there and say, hey, please sir, can I have another with your hand now? Slap their hand away. Say, I don't need you. Exactly. They need, you need, people need and they want that handout and they don't want to do nothing for it. <clears throat> and once you get into that, once you get, once, once the, once the government gets their hooks in you, once they get their hooks in you, it's hard to break it. It's hard to break that. It's hard to get their hooks out. It's like going fishing. You know when you go on fishing and you you throw your, you throw that uh, you throw your lure out there and you're reeling it in and a fish hits it and you snatch that pole and you hook that hook you gotta pull that you gotta reel that sucker in then when you get there you realize he got that hook stuck in there deep and it is it sometimes you can't get that hook out so what do you gotta do you gotta cut the hook just to get it out of them. You throw that lure away and you start all over again. How do you do that with people? How do you do that? How do you look at somebody who's had their who's had the government hooked into them so hard for so long? How do you look at that person and say, "We gotta get that hook out"? You can. You can, but it take a while. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You just cut the hook loose. It's hard to cut the hook loose. It's hard to cut the hook loose on people who don't want the hook cut. They want you to cut the line and leave the hook in. Whoa, it's a tornado storm. <laughs> <clears throat> but I digress hey it's creepy alien guys again see it never fails I can't start talking about serious political issues and people leave <laughs> uh. one day I'll learn Quit talking about political issues on my stream, <clears throat> but it's hard to not to. It's hard to not look at people and say. It, it, it's hard to not look at people and say, you know what? You have more power, and you have more power than you right, truly know, and truly understand. I I know. It, I know it ain't gonna happen, but you know what? You, that's the whole thing that this whole GameStop stock market thing has been has shown people that people had people who truly want to take control back for themselves can do it, and they are scared to death. They are petrified. And they are going to do anything and everything they can to stop it from happening and keep it from happening again. Proof, proof positive. You've seen these politicians on TV raising a hissy fit, saying the SEC needs to come in. This, this needs to be investigated and this, that, and the other. Why? They want to stop it. They want to stop it. But you know what it proves? People have the power. People can control their own destinies.
They can take things back. They can take everything back if they choose to. I have that ship. Mine's not purple like that. Well, let me rephrase that. I don't have it on this account, on this on the PlayStation. I have it on my Xbox accounts, but uh, but it proves positive, man, that people can take can take a stand. The problem is, is when you go take a stand, you get labeled. People talk junk. They talk junk about you. They call you all grades of names and say that you're this and that. And it's just it makes no sense. And this is the. Uh, Was it uh, to throw in an old movie reference in this uh, from Last Starfighter? There's a character Otis who's trying to tell uh, what's his name? Alex. He's trying to tell Alex. He said, "You know, when you find something that's great." don't want to get rid of it you gotta grab a hold on tight you gotta grab a hold of it hold on tight never let it go something along those lines Otis is a smart man makes perfect sense now granted Alex was talking about Maggie in the movie of course but Otis's words speak to anything and everything that goes on in this world today. If you want something bad enough, if you want something bad enough, you will grab a hold of it and hold on tight. Do everything you can and never let it go. engage anybody. Everything's blowed up. on over here to the next one. That's like uh, the $15 an hour minimum wage, federal minimum wage they want to bring out. Absolutely. You know where they made them sit up at? In a freaking parking lot, man. They set them up in a freaking parking garage with one bathroom, one single bathroom, for 5,000 troops. Really? That's how, that's how they treat, uh, that's how they treat guard, National Guardsmen who are there at their beck and call. Who are there at their beck and call. And they treat them by shoving them, by shoving 5,000 people in a freaking parking deck in the freezing cold. Tulsi Gabbard was talking about that. Uh, which is one reason why I kind of like her, even though she is a Democrat. Uh, she makes perfect sense. She talks common sense. She was talking about that. How can they, how can they have done that to people? 
you know, that was completely and totally uncalled for. And again, it's just like the it's just like the um, it's just like the stock market thing. Government don't care. They don't care about that. Well, the, they don't care about the every ordin the, the everyday ordinary citizen. They don't care about them. If they did, they would actually do stuff to help people. They don't do that anymore. They don't do it anymore because they don't want to. Why would they? What would be the point of that? Damn, that sucker took off. They did eventually move they did eventually, after they made enough of a stink, uh, they did finally move those guardsmen in back indoors. Uh, but if they had, if people hadn't made a big enough stink about it, it wouldn't have happened. Because that was just uncalled for to start with. And the guardsmen blame the Capitol Police. Capitol Police say it was somebody else. It's the normal he said, she said thing. Regardless of who said it, who did it, it shouldn't happen. But when you get, you get these people who are, they're lawyers. All politicians are lawyers, career politicians. They've been in there for years. They lose touch with reality when it comes to people. They all lost touch with the people. Which is why I say people have more power than they think. It's how they choose to use it, utilize it, that makes the biggest difference. Use what you got, man. Show them who's boss. You know. Remember, your taxes pay their salaries. Your taxes pay their health insurance. Your taxes pay for their buildings. It pays for their residences. For the most part. They work for you. It's not the other way around. Not the other way around. Politicians should walk with the people, not on the people. Which is why I say the day is going to come. The day will come. And some when people will get tired, they'll take a stand. They'll be like, you know what? I'm had enough of these people. And they'll do exactly what I said. Go to your state board of elections, find out what you got to do to run for that office, and make a statement by saying, I'm going to run because it's time for a real person to hold this office. Not some career politician, not some lawyer, not some billionaire, not some millionaire, but just Joe Schmo from down the street, who's a pharmacy, who's a pharmacist, or a mechanic, or no, you don't even have to go that far. It ain't got to go that far. I don't think it needs to go that far. Violence solves nothing. You know what violence does? Shows these shows them fools that they've won. 
it shows them that they've won. Oh yeah, it will. It will make a difference. But is it really worth it in the end? Look at what it'll cost in the end. It's just like the way things are right now. Look at the way, way look at the way this country is right now. People are divided at each other's throats. Like they're, they're like a powder keg with a fuse lit. You know? They're like a powder keg with a lit fuse. And that fuse is getting closer and closer. Capital thing, the capital fiasco was just the start. But, it ain't gotta be that way. It ain't got to be that way. It truly doesn't. Oh, he put up a wall. Do I think it'll get that way at some point? It's hard to tell. There are times when you you kind of take a you kind of take the temperature around the world and around the country, and you're like, yeah, it's coming. It's gonna be here. And then you look at it again. You're like, you know, maybe not. Maybe people will come to their senses and say, yeah, we're tired, we're fed up, we're tired of not being heard, we're tired of being ignored, we're tired of people doing stuff that's a detriment to it. You know, the whole thing about the United States is it's, you have the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Well, what happens when your own government is a detriment to that life, liberty, in the pursuit of happiness? There are those who would say that we need a, 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 a show of strength, a show of violence, to show these people that this is how it has to be done in order to get our message across. And there are truly people who think that. There are truly people who think that that's going to be the only way that they get the point across. It's not. There's always a better alternative. Always. Violence never solves anything. Because you saw the capital, what, the capital thing. You see what's coming from it now. They're going to do a revamped Patriot Act. And you see it with, uh, you see it with the, the censorship from big tech. Excellent. You see the, vault is the calls from one side saying that if you were on Since this side and you, you believe in this person, you're, you are you should be considered a, a, a domestic terrorist. And this, that, and the other. I think that's stupid, in my opinion. All it does is divide people more. That's all it does. It doesn't solve anything. It's not gonna solve anything. All you're gonna do is piss off more people. <clears throat> all you're gonna do is piss off more people. And then what you gonna do when you piss off enough people? They gonna get tired of it and they're gonna do something stupid. I, true. Violence is what, and that's human nature. Violence is human nature. It's not just what the country is, knows. It, it's human nature. We as people, that's how we... That's how we are. That's how people in general are. It's what we know. And so we... do things... like that. But ultimately, in the end it's only going to make things worse before it gets better. You take the original Civil War, take the original Civil War, for example. And a lot of people think that... Oh, shit. I got teleported. The original Civil War was just as much 
a political fight as it was for the rights of all people. It was just as much that, but it was more of a political fight than it was anything. And it took a, it took a war where people got hurt, a lot of people got killed. It took that to get the point across. Realistically, could it have been handled a different way? Absolutely. Definitely could have. Should have. But guess what, boys and girls? Guess which side was the side that wanted to do... Guess which side wanted to do the side... Uh, guess which side of the aisle wanted to leave the country and start the whole damn thing? You got it. It's the left. Very, very, very few people in this world knows that the Democrats were the party of sedition. Right, it's a never-ending cycle. Those who don't learn from the past are doomed to... Yeah, those who don't learn from the past are doomed to repeat it. <coughs> if you don't learn from the past... You're just going to keep making the same mistakes over and over and over again. Which is why I say, sometimes it's, in, it's human nature for violence to kick in. It's just the way, we, it's just the way we're made. But the only thing it's going to solve, the only thing it's going to do is make it worse on everybody. Because like I said, what did the Capitol riots do? What did it accomplish? Other than looking at these idiots in their white castle and say, right, what did it solve? What did it solve? Not a damn thing. You know what it did? It put, it put those politicians on high alert and now they're calling for an, an updated Patriot Act. They're classifying people who don't hadn't even done nothing to anybody as bad people. They're classifying a whole group. They're classifying half the country as domestic terrorists. Meanwhile, the true domestic terrorists get don't get us don't get nothing. They get looked at and say, "Oh, go ahead, do it. Keep on doing what you're doing." With no punishment, no reap, no, re, no no repercussions, nothing. <clears throat> and it shouldn't be that way. Henceforth, the rules for thee, not for me. Rules are rules. The rules are for everybody. And they've forgotten that. And I don't think, personally, I don't think a violent revolution will solve anything. Nor do I think people standing up and saying, we're tired of this, we're going to take a stand. Not sure if that'll help either. Eh, one problem with that is, is it, it's going to hurt everybody. That's the thing. You know, that's like they say that I, I keep hearing that they keep calling, like, Trump supporters domestic terrorists. And the, I, I hear it on that. I hear it on the news every day. Even though I don't pay attention. I'm trying to pay attention to that crap anyway. Because they're all full of shit. They label people and they try to censor people. And 
this, that, and the other, and I'm like, why? I don't get it. They haven't done any. These people haven't done any. Some of those people didn't even do anything. You have groups. Yeah, you got groups in there that do stupid things, and they say stupid stuff, and that's, that's anybody. That's on both sides. It's not just the right. That's the left, too. Prime example. You see what's going on in Portland and Seattle. You see it from them. You know, and they don't, they don't, it, it makes no sense. I don't, I don't see a purpose in it, you know. Like I said, all it does is make it worse for everybody. You give them the right. Part of the thing. What is the the, is the Bill of Rights? Is the Bill of Rights? I think gives you gives the people of this country the the rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Well, because of the whole, because of a single group of people. All right, Marshman, I'll be right here. See you when you get back. Because of a single group of people who decided that they were going to take a stand and do something stupid, thinking that it would make a difference, what did it do? What did it? What did it? What did it solve? Didn't solve anything. What did it do? It made it gave them more opportunity to look at you and take away more of your rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And what kills me is there are people in this country who are fine with that. I don't understand that. How can people? How can how can people say be okay? with and look at the government and say, yes, please, take away my rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. I don't want that stuff. I want you, government, to tell me what I can and cannot do. I want you to tell me what to eat, where to eat, what to eat, what, when to sleep, when to walk, when to talk, when to do this and that and other. Why? It's not how it was intended. It's not how our government was intended to be when it was formed. Which is why it's of the people, for the people, by the people. No, of the people, by the people, for the people. The thing is, is that the thing is that government's forgotten what it stands for to be of the people, by the people, for the people. The ways of the many out to take a to take a uh, 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 a phrase from this game, as a matter of fact. Well. Not only this game, but from the series, from the IP that it is from. To take a quote from Leonard Nimoy. The off. needs of we the many outweigh the needs of the few. <laughs> it's not the other way around. It's not the needs and wants of the few that outweigh the needs and wants of the many. Surrender to the Terran Empire! Tuh! <laughs> well, that's convenient. Because we're not an empire. It's not a dictatorship. And surrender! Not yet, anyway. And it won't be. But P 
people give away their rights and their freedoms, and they're okay with that. And I don't understand why you want to do that, but not only to yourself, but to other, but to everybody else too. Why do you want to do that? Everybody deserves a right. Everybody deserves a right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, as it's written on the documents that we hold dear. Between the Bill of Rights and the Constitution of the United States. We find these truths that every man is created, every man and woman is created equal. And that they all deserve life, liberty, and the pursuit. They all deserve the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. <laughs> everyone else in our reality. Ironic. This TFO is free people fighting against a tyrannical leader. Trippy. <laughs> Call it bitter irony. I apologize, chat, for getting all serious, all stuff like that. But it started out. It didn't start out. It, was, it didn't start out that it was going to be a serious topic, but it just kind of steamrolled out of it into it. And I hate doing it because when I get on a roll. When you get on a roll like that and get rambling on stuff serious like that, it's kind of hard to back away from it. Because <clears throat> not everybody wants to hear stuff about it. Not everybody wants to hear about that stuff. For either because they don't care or because they see things differently than I do. And that's fine. You know what? You have that right. That's your right as an American. To do just that. when I get started rambling about that stuff. You guys will come in and you don't want to hear that stuff. Come in here to watch somebody play games. We're taking too much damage. Stuff Before like that. You just have Stay fun and hang out. Prepare stuff like that. And I apologize for it. Face the wrath of the Terran Empire. But, you know... It's hard to it's hard to talk about certain things and not That's what this country's all about. Man. It's all about people talking about different things and debating different talk debating different things and talking about different stuff. Yeah, that's what makes this country great. We can have an open discussion about things and talk about things. Not, not be said, not be told, well, you can't think that way. Which is where things are going. They're typically getting to a point where people are being told, you can't think that way. You can't believe what you want to believe in. If you believe in this, or you think about, if you believe in this, or you believe about that, then you're wrong. And that's not the way, it's not the way this country was formed. It's not the, the premise behind everything. This country was formed 
on those three principles that I that I'll speak on to the day I am put to dirt. Everybody, every essential, uh, wrong one, every person in this country deserves the right to life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. As it's written on that, part, or as it's written on the document. You know, people talk about it when what kills me is these these politicians will take when they take their oath of office. What do they swear to do? They are sworn to uphold the Constitution from, and this is with this is with police, this is with police officers, this is with military, it's everything. They're sworn to uphold the Constitution, the Constitution of the United States of America, from all. Uh, Was it from? Oh crap! I forgot. Any other time I can think about it. From all threats, foreign and domestic. There you go. Took me a minute to think about it. We're reading an energy. But yet, there are those who will use who will use that turn it and say well this is why we're doing it which is why this the this jacked up version of the Patriot Act is gonna come down here soon because of the capital stuff you will see a lot more of your rights taken away they're gonna say well it, it, it's, to, it's to protect you no it's not it's to silence you Rules for thee, not for me. If you don't think my way, you're not allowed to think. It's not the way this country goes, man. This country is built on open debate. You have the right to say what you want to say. You have the right to have your opinions. And not only to have your opinions, but have your opinions heard. People's opinions, right, wrong, or indifferent, shouldn't be taken away. They shouldn't be labeled as undesirables or terror, domestic terrorists or whatever, just because you don't agree with their opinion of the world. That's not. That's not a democratic state. That's communism. That's socialism. You're told what you can and cannot think. That's not democratic. somebody one day tell me that I heard one person tell me one time and it really stuck with me and it sticks with me every time I see them they you go to tell me how great me. socialism is and how great Marxism is and this that and the other Terok Nor has been sent back to the near universe and I want to look We're at him and be like if it's so great why are all those people coming here for a celebration in Quarks if it was so great, if it's as great as you say it is, why are those? Why are they? Why are they trying to come here to get away from it? Why? Why do they want to come here? Because they're tired of being told how to think, how to act, how to live. They want the freedom to do what they want to do, say what they want to say without persecution. Yet. What do we see? How do we see our country going? Persecuted because you say the wrong thing. Treated a certain way because you don't agree with the way one side thinks. That's not democracy. It's a sad, sad day when that happens. Uh, 
What you think, chat? Tell me your opinions. I started this stream tonight with a joke, with with a half a joke. Warned you guys to come up with the rest of the half a joke, and yet I got started on talking about serious issues. And I got started on it. When I did, I just kept on rolling. <laughs> but that, but that, but hey, what's your opinion, chat? That's what you guys are here to do. This is an open forum. You can say what you want. It's the great thing about this country. If you think I'm an idiot because I think the way I think, it's your right to say so. If you agree with me, you agree with me. If you don't agree with me, you don't agree with me. That's the thing. It's your right to think about that. It's your right to do that. <clears throat> Welcome back, Marshall. All right. Um... I think I'm going to switch over to Just Cause 4 because I'm ready to blow some stuff up now. I gotta think of a title. Uh, or I might, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna just stick with this. I'm not gonna switch tonight. I'll stick with this. It's the House of the Void. Whoa, it's a big dude. It's Benny B. It's the Mad Hatter. He looks like the Mad Hatter, but he's a Jim Hadar <laughs> in the Lincoln outfit. That's funny. That's funny. I crack myself up sometimes. But anyway, like I said, that's the thing about it, chat. That's what chat's for. It's an open discussion. Which is, this is some reason. This is some reasons why I bring up these serious issues because I want to. I want to hear y'all's opinion. I want to hear you guys' opinion on the matter. That's what chat's for. Speak your mind. Speak freely. You'll never. I mean, keep it within reason. Keep it within reason. You know, don't. You ain't got to go nuts. But you know, it's an open forum, open discussion. You can. Speak your mind, speak your opinions. I ain't gonna knock you for it. I don't have a lot of time, so I'll make <laughs> Why rename? <laughs> That's a good one. Yak and Yeti. Rico's rough next. Apparently he's a good Starship Troopers fan. Man. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Oh, man. All right. So we got 13 seconds, 12, 10, 11. There we go. All right. I am not a fan of this TFO. Enemy ships detected. They're on an intercept. <laughs> Ain't 
do it. I'm not a fan of it. Alright, let's roll this way. Ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. Yeah, parts are ready. Well, hell, two of them went this way, and that, no, not a single saw went the other way. Yeah, I may as well for I might too for a little bit. Not sure. <laughs> Dude's trying to race me to get these satellites. I don't really know why. <laughs> <laughs> I do and don't need a dilithium. I do in some ways and don't in other ways. I got a good bit stacked up, but can always use more. Picking up multiple enemy signals on sensors. Oh no, not multiple enemies on sensors. I hate that little bubble thing right there. And there's no way to get rid of that damn thing, neither. You can't lock onto it, you can't destroy it, you can't do anything. Once it's there, it's there. <clears throat> oh no, I can't get over there fast enough. There we go. Uh oh, that's out. What? That's just the way it goes, man. You get a lot of dilithium, you spend it. You get more dilithium, you spend it. It's, it's a never-ending vicious cycle. That's how the STO economy goes around. how the real economy goes around. <sighs> that little freaking thing right there. And it's got me. Things can't make up their mind which side they want to come from. Come from this side, then they'll switch and go to the other side, then they'll come back to this side. Yeah. I'm, I think I'm about to a point where I'm done by a Phoenix pop uh, Phoenix boxes for right now. I've about done, about got this one about where I want it. So. I want to shoot that little bubble thing right there. It's got me. It's pulling me in, man. It's trying to pull me in. Yes. 
break free. That's the way the world goes, man. You get it, you want more. satellite that is. There we go. Alright. We gotta get this third part going. Satellite upgrades are now available. Acknowledged. Alright. Let's get in position here so I can upgrade this. <clears throat> upgrade this here satellite so that it can blow shit up better. Got that one. I'll get there eventually. There we go. He got that one. Well, that was quick. Do 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 do. Now we got to see which side. Which side? Which side is these guys going to come from? This one? Or that one? I think it's set in the, kind of in the middle. That way, no matter which side they come from, I can be close to it on either side. There we go. That way I can be ready. Picking up the enemy flagships. Hang on up there. <coughs> Not the flagships I'm worried about, it's the little ones that I'm worried about. Flagships aren't that big a deal. It's the wee little ships that get spit out through it that's the problem. Those right there, the little the little bio ships. Little cruisers and frigates and all. Those are the ones that are the problem. I'm stuck in that little whatever that little thing is. Turn me loose. No. Yes, repair the satellite. There we go. They just start shooting me in. Go, go, go. Go, go, gadget torpedo. <laughs> Oh, 
Uh, where the hell's Beta at? Oh, that's the one in the middle that nobody's at. The one in the middle that nobody's protected. Alright, this little bubble thing has got to turn me loose. That thing is a, that little bubble thing is annoying. It's tied to satellite down. <laughs> well, that's kind of the way they always do. They pretty much do a reskin on most of them. Not so much a reskin. Is that the, the Romulan? It's part Romulan, part Klingon, part something. I think I've seen it, but I'm not sure. Yeah, the Raiders are going to look kind of weird. <clears throat> Uh, the the uh, the battle cruiser that they came out with actually didn't didn't look too bad, but the Raider, if it's the one I'm thinking of, the pictures of it look kind of weird. What was it? It's like a Romulan you know, warbird. The old Rami and the Warbirds with uh, the Klingon nose or something like that. It looks kind of weird. <laughs> That's just the way it does. <laughs> oh, there is no telling. There is no telling. Oh, I got battery provisions. I can use those somewhere. Is it here? Yeah. Put those there. I need to go into here, here. This one, I think, is the one with the other one that I was looking at. I can probably finish this one out. Yep, finish that one out. Yeah, let's look at the thing. No, that's not. That's. Uh, da, 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 da. Cross faction recon bundle. Is that the new ones that's getting ready to come out? No, that's not it. They must not have it on here yet. 
I know the one you're talking about, though. Oh, I remember seeing a picture of it somewhere. I don't remember where, but I remember seeing a picture of it somewhere. Oh, all right. You know what? I think I am all switch over. Oh, let me switch over to Just Cause 4. I'm ready to blow something up. I gotta make up a title. I gotta come up with a title, though. What am I gonna title it? Um... What am I gonna title it? I did this one with a half a joke and nobody's done anything with it, so... I was hoping y'all would run with it, but... And then I got started talking about serious shit and lost complete train of thought on the thing. So, um, let's see. Do, 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 do. What am I going to call? What am I going to title this thing? I'm going to switch over to Just Cause 4. What am I going to title it? Let's see. How about. Oh, shit, I don't know. I guess I'll go with the old standby of... Hmm... I'll think of something. Alright chat, I'm gonna switch over to Just Cause 4. Give me about 30 seconds or so to get this stuff switched over and I'll be right back.